Hello, everyone. I'm Sharon Tay. And I'm Rick Garcia. We have developing news right now. Police trying to track down a man suspected of carjacking and possibly kidnapping a woman in mid-city. Dramatic testimony again today in the preliminary hearing to determine if two Rialto men could should stand trial for the attack on Brian Stowe. Well, today, prosecutors brought forward the getaway driver who happens to be the sister of one of the suspects and the fiancé of the other. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez explains. A Long Beach man's goal of playing in the NFL seemed unreachable after he was convicted of raping a high school classmate. Well, now, years later, that woman who accused Brian Banks has recanted her story, and he's now a free man. Well, today, he finally got a chance to chase his lifelong dream, trying out for a pro team. KCAL 9's Randy Page went to Seattle for the big day. Now, of course, none of this would be happening for Banks if the woman who accused him of rape hadn't recanted her story. Tonight at 10, the private investigator who got her to admit it on tape tells us how he pulled it off. Nadia Suleiman, the so-called Octomom, will get to stay in her home for another 12 days. Potential bidders gathered at the Orange Civic Center today to bid in a foreclosure auction of the four-bedroom, three-bath home. But due to bankruptcy issues... The a new CPR technique no longer requires mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. KCAL Online's Amy Johnson shows us how easy it is to learn. Tonight's Dine on a Dime is truly unique, a one-of-a-kind Mexican food truck with a permanent spot on Hollywood Boulevard. KCAL Online's Suzanne Marquez has more on Calle Tacos in Hollywood. Investigators are asking for help to solve the murder of a local youth minister. Oscar Duncan was killed in a drive-by shooting. KCAL Online's Joy Benedict tells us they're offering a reward to help catch the killer. A little girl's dying wish helped bring the ocean inland to South L.A. Students at 109th Street Elementary School got a chance to go on a field trip and learn about the ocean without ever leaving campus. KCAL 9's Louisa Hodge shows us how they did it. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. It's much safer to talk about the weather, I think. I think <laughs> but so. Not every night. Entertainment, a new coming-of-age tale about young love is winning over movie audiences. The LAPD confirms it is talking with Canadian police to see if a horrific murder there might be connected to an equally disturbing murder here. The Canadian case involves a man who allegedly killed, dismembered, and ate parts of his lover. KCAL 9's Juan Fernandez is live in... And tonight, KCAL 9 has learned how Banks' legal team got the woman to admit she made the story up and got it on tape. That story is coming straight from the private investigator who pulled it all off. KCAL 9's Rob Schmidt is here with that part of the story. You'll hear it for the very first time tonight. Rob. Casey, thank you. A substitute teacher from Oxnard High School is under arrest tonight for allegedly sexting with a 17-year-old boy. Gangsta rap video is creating some controversy at L.A. City Hall. That's because two gang intervention specialists who work for the city's Summer Night Lights program are prominently featured in that video that glorifies gang violence. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan shows us the video and the fallout. Thank you. Tuberculosis at an Oxnard school. The Ventura County Star reporting an unidentified person, a Fremont Intermediate, has been diagnosed with a contagious case of the lung cancer. Now, officials are saying people who came in contact with a sick individual are being tested for TB. Poor little guy. That's a kitten for you. It is. Thanks for watching KCAL 9 News at 10. Sports Central starts right now.